A couple of years ago, I was amazed to watch my two-and-a-half-year-old granddaughter tackle her ABCs on our original iPad. I've wondered what will happen when these iPad babies hit the classroom already knowing basic skills. So last week I went to Paxson Elementary where several classes, including kindergarten, are discovering how quickly children adapt. Four of my kids came in having an iPad at home and at this point in the year and really only a month into it, there was no difference. Having it in their hand daily, they catch up, they teach each other, they, it just happens for them. They're able to differentiate on their own so they can take their learning as far as they want to go and if they need some extra time um, on a certain concept or to work on a skill, they can take that time. Well, they help you when you don't want to go through a huge textbook and you can just go right away and find what you're looking for. You can see a lot of different stuff um, that you would notice if you were looking at like a classroom model. So it's uh, able to just take something that I might need to present in a textbook way, but I can open it up in a whole new dimension by having uh, access to the computers or the iPads. And from what I saw, there's also faster feedback. In this class, the teacher can see each student's results as soon as they're done, giving immediate advice and answering questions. Few don't have their own devices. It is kind of a rarity, and I find that the ones that um, don't have it at home are so eager to, to delve into that that they, they're, they're ready to learn. They're already ready to learn how to use it. So really, I don't see it as a major speed bump. There is a dark side. A recent UK study said some parents are letting children use devices up to four hours or more a day, creating addictive behavior. But these teachers say like any technology, it's all about parents supervising and balancing time and exploration. In fact, we encourage the more, the more use, the better. And all they're doing is becoming more familiar with the tool. And so, you know, the same is true for, for keyboarding or, or learning anything about the machine that you're using. The more you can learn to manipulate that tool, the more you will spend your time and energy learning. That playtime, that outside, being with friends, riding bikes, exercise, we've got to keep the balance for sure. On special assignment, Dennis Bragg, MTN News.